Yo, what's up? Um, welcome to another chess puzzle. This one is white to move. And, you know, you look at the position, white seems to have some advantage um, because black's pieces are just backed up a little bit. So, what to do? No, I got it. I, I'm pretty sure I got the answer already. Um, you guys, pause your video, try to figure it out as always. Yeah, and this is another, like, just like yesterday, this is another tactical one, it seems to me. And we have this kind of cool move, bishop to c7. And the point is, after rook takes, we don't go knight takes rook, we go rook takes a8, an in-between move. And after queen takes, knight takes c7. And I'm entering it in my program, and, okay, it's interesting. After, <laughs> for some reason they go rook c1 here, um... I mean, I think, huh, well, we need to find the next move. Um, if queen takes rook, the idea is queen a8, knight c7, rook c8. And it seems like black has avoided the worst in that position. If rook takes queen, he'll take our queen, and then we take and he takes, and again, it's like, Hold on, let's so figure out what the heck is going on here. Because material is still even. We only have two moves. Queen takes rook, or rook takes queen. And which one is right? Oh, we go queen takes rook, probably, and then... Oh, maybe e5? It's tough to say. Um... Huh. Well, rook takes queen is not going to be the right move because it's just not. <laughs> it's definitely it doesn't look doesn't look good. So I'm pretty from a practical standpoint. I think I'm just going to play queen takes rook. Black play queen takes rook, and now we have to find another move. So it wasn't quite as simple as we hoped. Um, if if e5, like it doesn't just win because knight to d5 is is playable, but we can take the d6 pawn. I mean, the position's pretty strong for us. I think we just have to avoid this, followed by rook c8, because this position is not so clear at all. So I think the answer is e5. Yeah, after e5, white's just better. It's not winning, but better. And after this, um, we can take this pawn off and just play up a pawn, pretty much. Uh, the game proceeded after e5, rook c8, Rook c3. Rook takes, queen takes, knight d5. And now he's attacking our queen, but his knight is also pinned. So white just captured the pawn and had a clear advantage with an extra pawn in the end game. So it was like a little tactic. It didn't it didn't win quite as, as easily as it seemed because of this cool defensive move, rook c1. But it was still the right move. Alright, thanks for watching and see you all later. Bye bye.